Everything has changed as I've experienced being known by safe people in my life. There was an expectation that we would be able to lead by our authority and how good we were. When I allowed the sin and the struggles in my life to be brought into the light and to trust those things with other people, it allowed them to stand with me and to love me in a way that I hadn't ever felt loved before. I think one of the things that for, for me that I've experienced in community is really that place where it's okay to talk about the things you're struggling with, the sins or the lies that you're struggling with, because they don't define you anymore. They really don't define who you are. They really don't define your persona. They are just indicative of the things you're struggling with. And instead, we're defined by who we are in Christ. And that's a huge deal. I think before I really tried to hold it all together and to manage my sin and I didn't know I was managing my sin. I was just doing what I had been told to do, which was to strive and to have my list of things that I make sure I checked off so that I, I could quantify my Christianity based on performing these things. The sins didn't go away, but when I realized some of these principles of grace, it freed all of that, live in humility and receive grace and love, which was truly a gift. It was okay to be broken. It was okay to have a struggle that might be there for a long time and to not have to live in hiding and feel ashamed of it. find that oftentimes the hiddenness that people have, they think that they're helping themselves, they think that they're gaining authority, they think that they are respected, and all those things uh, are superficially true, but deep down, they aren't known. No one knows how to stand with. You feel like there's expectations of, of achieving, of doing something right, and then feeling like a failure. Then there's the theological implications that you don't trust the God who sent his only son to save you. You really think that he's out to get you. We know that he's a loving God who disciplines us and he can encourage us and, and move us toward just like a father does, but he's not out to get us. He's already done the work in his son to help us. And so it's living in a place where our sin could be exposed to the light. Have him be able to reign in those areas and to accept the fact that he's already done such a great work on our behalf. And for me, that, that's been a really interesting experience just to go, what does it look like to actually not have to be afraid of my sin and to not have to manage my sin? There was an expectation that we would be able to lead by our authority and how good we were. In reality, when we were first introduced to some of the true faith principles, what we realized is that we, we weren't living this way. We didn't like each other. We didn't know each other. We were afraid to affirm one another. We were afraid to encourage one another in any way because we thought we would lose our ability and our authority. All we had were these masks to, to stand with. We never felt like we could actually be honest about who we were. Everything has changed as I've experienced being known by safe people in my life. And not just being known, but being loved and delighted in. Just because I'm me, and just because mutually, our hearts have been freed by these amazing truths. And this reality has freed my heart to offer grace toward others in my life who haven't yet discovered or embraced what these truths are all about. Rather than feeling that I have to prove anything to them, I get to just live this out day by day trusting God in their lives as well as my own. It's changed everything.